Welcome to www.knowwhat4u.com Today's presentation is about radio frequency electromagnetic radiation sources, safety standards and research. Cell phones Smartphones iPods, iPads and iPhones Bluetooth devices Decked and wireless phones Wireless routers Wireless laptops and computers Microwave ovens Game consoles And many more Do you really want to be exposed to so much radio frequency electromagnetic radiation all the time? In some countries the safety standards are very high and are based only on the thermal effect, which is heating of the tissue. While in other countries the safety standards are much lower. Some countries even issued warnings asking their citizens to limit their wireless exposure, especially to children. Some say that there is no health risk from radio frequency electromagnetic radiation exposure and that it is completely safe. While others warn from the possible danger of using mobile phones and wireless equipment. A growing number of research and studies show that there is a health effect, even at non-thermal, extremely low electromagnetic radiation levels. Professor Selford showed leakage from rats brain blood vessels and nerve damage in radiated mice. Professor Henry Lai showed DNA breaks after exposure to radio frequency electromagnetic radiation. Michael Rapacholi found that lymphoma risk was significantly higher in mice that were exposed to radio frequency electromagnetic radiation. Professor Leonard Ardale showed an association between mobile phone use and malignant brain tumor. He showed that the risk increased with cumulative use and that the risk was the highest for those who used the mobile phone for more than 2,000 hours. Even the Interphone study, which was founded by the industry, which outcomes were stalled for five years and are considered to be an underestimation, points out that a cell phone user who uses a cell phone for more than 27 minutes per day for 10 years has a significant elevated risk of getting brain cancer. And this is only after 10 years, when it usually takes 20 to 30 years for a brain tumor to develop. This person used a mobile phone for only 10 years until a brain tumor was discovered. The tumor was removed from the same side of the head the cell phone was used, leaving him disabled and epileptic. What other proof do you need? People around the world are already suffering. Do you have to wait for somebody close to get hurt? Would you believe it when you will get hurt? Or will you continue to use cell phones and wireless devices? Minimize the use of cell phones and wireless devices before the use will minimize you. Make your home a better and safer place. Make the world a better place. Do the right thing. Turn off your EMR sources. Remember, for every wireless device out there, there is an alternative wire device. Our advice is, limit and reduce your electromagnetic radiation exposure, use wire devices, and beware of fake magical protection devices and stickers. This clip was brought to you as a service to the public by norad4u.com and stopradiation.com. For more info, please visit our website www.norad4u.com. Please watch our YouTube channel, our English blog, our Hebrew blog. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.